welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year, it is 2022. So in this video, I want to share with you what I ended up wearing for New Year's Eve, my New Year's Eve outfit, but also, I have been doing a lots and lots of browsing. I've just been wanting a lot of inspiration for what I wanna wear this coming year and what I wanna do with my wardrobe. I ended up coming across several winter outfits created by other fashion bloggers that I really wanted to recreate using what I have in my closet. So it's another Shabri Closet series. It's another addition to that series that I have here on my channel. So if you haven't seen that series, I will leave it linked above. It's where I find inspiration for outfits and I try to recreate a similar look or I'll just kind of go off in my own direction depending on how I'm feeling about the outfit and also what I have available in my closet. So before I jump into sharing with you everything that I have for you in this video today, if this is your first time here to my channel, I do have a new video up for you every Saturday. Anything from fashion, styling, sometimes like a shopping vlog, I'm really trying to get into those this year. Um, so if you enjoy that type of content, definitely hit that subscription button and also that notification bell. That notification bell is gonna let you know what time on Saturday my video is going to be up for you. So I'm gonna share with you my New Year's Eve outfit first. And for this look, I actually didn't use any inspiration. Typically for these shopper closet videos, I have a picture that I go off of that I kind of recreate. But for this one, I don't have that. For the rest of the outfits, I will have a picture to show you that kind of shows how I recreated the look and everything. So the dress I ended up going for is one that I ended up renting off of Rent the Runway. And when it comes to party dresses and things like that, like New Year's Eve, I like to rent because typically it's not something that I'm gonna wear all that often and I like to mix it up each year. So it's nice to have different options like using a rental. I have several reasons why I chose this dress this year. First of all, it's in a classic mini dress style, but the sequins are pink on the top of the dress, which I think is just so unique. I love how it's kind of like an ombre effect all the way down the dress and then at the bottom you've got the classic black. But look at the back of this dress. Look at this. I just absolutely love cuts like this. It has a really elegant low back, very tasteful, and then it's just very simple in the front. And this is from a brand called 133 Social. I'd never heard of this brand before, but as soon as I saw this dress, I knew I wanted to wear it. So it's so sparkly. I mean, look at it. And then I ended up going for my favorite nude heeled shoes from Lulu's. I've been talking about these so much this year, but I can't help it. These are so comfortable and they really keep the outfit dressed up. And I wanted something that was a little bit lighter. I could have gone for black, but I wanted this style of shoe because I just think that it keeps it looking very classy and it's still trendy too. These are very much a trending shoe this year with the pointed toe and the mule style. So I wanted to include this into the outfit. And then I wanted to accessorize this outfit in a way that really showed my girly style. So I decided to go for this black velvet hair bow. This is one that I got for Christmas. So I was really excited to wear it for New Year's Eve. This is a velvet hair bow from Jennifer Bear. Burr, Jennifer Burr. And I also think that the velvet and the sequins, the two textures just work really well together, especially for a festive holiday outfit. And then I chose from my very limited purse collection, my favorite Kate Spade sequin bag. This one just is my only very much dressed up bag. And the sequins kind of just, it was a, a no brainer for me to include this one. Um, at first I felt like it was maybe a bit too much sparkle, but I don't think that's possible. Can you have too much glitter and sparkle on New Year's? I don't think so. And then I also wanted to share the coat that I used to layer up the outfit as well. And I used my very dressy faux fur collar coat. And I also loved how this coat kind of tied in the hair bow and the sequin handbag because it really balanced out all of the glitter and sequins in this outfit made it so that it looks very wearable, not too much. This second outfit, if you love pink as much as I do, is this not the cutest winter outfit? So for her two main pieces, she basically just chose a very similar shade in pink, but then her accessories, she went for a neutral and she chose brown as her color. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna just kind of work with what I have in my closet. So the first piece I'm gonna start off with is that layer underneath the coat. She's got that beautiful pink dress, and I think that might be a Sister Jane dress. I'm not sure, but it does look like it. The dress that I ended up going for is one that I've had in my closet for a couple years now. This is from Lulu's. I always find the best things on there when they're on sale. Um, but this is a tiered maxi dress, and it's very dressy. 
And I love how she did this, how she wore a very dressy piece, but then just layered more casual, like cozy faux fur on top of it. Just makes it very wearable. With her dress, it looks like she does have sleeves that go with hers. So I needed something to kind of layer this up to make it a little bit more wearable for winter, even with a faux fur coat on top of it. So I decided to go ahead and throw a white smocked top on top of it because it just kind of, it's adding layers and it keeps it light. So I ended up throwing this on top of the dress, just layering it on top top and I like how the smock material really brings in the waist and it actually kind of gets rid of the black velvet which I don't think that messes the outfit up or anything but I did want to keep it very light and white because I am trying to go for that pink monochromatic look as much as possible with this outfit and the two together I've actually never worn this combination so it's kind of a fun discovery for me I want to wear tulle as much as you can I wish tulle could be like an everyday thing so I ended up going for my white lace-up boots because I wanted to keep it just the neutral color and then all pink. So I felt like these would work best with this outfit and these are actually very comfortable to walk around in and it does give me the height that I need with that dress because that dress is quite long. So I needed as much help as I could get from my shoes. So the next piece in this outfit, of course, the faux fur coat. And you'd think that the dress would be the star of this outfit, no. I recently just got this coat. It was actually given to me by my sister-in-law's mom. It's a little bit big on me, but I don't mind an oversized faux fur coat. And hers actually looks kind of oversized too. So I figured, I mean, faux fur coats aren't really necessarily fitted all the time. I don't really see very fitted faux fur coats all the time. I always see them as oversized. And this coat is also longer like hers is too, which I think really helps me get a very similar look to what she is getting in her outfit. So you'll notice that for her accessories, she did go for that neutral color. Her shoes are that brown, but she also has the brown handbag. So of course my neutral color is the white. So I just decided to keep with pink accessories since I have them, may as well put them to good use. I thought this would look super cute with the outfit. This is a headband that I picked up at Anthropology and Clearance and it has like this braided style and I just felt like it was very similar to like just all the pink that's going on in this outfit. So I thought it would be fun to include this, it might be a little bit much, but I don't mind. And then my last accessory, I did include this little pink handbag. This is becoming my new little favorite piece to include in outfits. It just looks so fashion blogger, you know? This is the next outfit. How elegant and just very sophisticated. It looks very expensive. This outfit is goals. So the main reason why I chose this outfit is because I was trying to find out ways to wear a cape coat. I rented one off Rent the Runway because I just, I love how elegant. They look so expensive. They just look very luxurious. Capes are just something that I'm really falling in love with again. This fashion blogger gave some really good tips on how to wear a cape coat. So I am going to leave her blog post links down below. Um, it is the Uptown with Ellie Brown. First of all, underneath her cape coat, you'll notice that she has that white blouse. And I love how she did the puff sleeve with the cuff. So I did try to attempt to recreate a similar look. So the blouse I ended up going for is a white blouse from Free People. It doesn't necessarily have the balloon sleeve, but it does have the cuff. And for some reason, that is what really stood out to me in this outfit. So that white blouse is the piece that I used to start the look off. But I wanted to point out the pants that she is wearing before I get into the cape. She, of course, has that lovely plaid pattern going on with hers, which I love, but I don't have anything like that in my closet, so I had to opt for something more simple. I did decide to go more simple with this one because I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a little bit iffy on how to wear the, the cape coat. I still think I'm just overthinking it, but I decided to play it safe and go for my high-waisted wide leg jeans. These are dark wash. They almost look black. I think they might be like a darker navy color but there's just like that dark wintry color and it's gonna go well with the cape that i have for this outfit i am getting that wide leg look that she's getting in her pants as well it's very fitted on the top but then you've got a little bit of that looser style at the bottom 
And next, the cape. So this is an olive green cape. Her cape is black, which is why I decided to go for neutrals with the things I decided to pair with this because I do think that this is, this is the color in the outfit. It's got that beautiful plaid and this is like a very heavy coat. So it keeps me warm, almost too warm. So I don't need to layer up too much. So that is why I kept a light white blouse underneath it because this is very light. And then just to finish off the outfit, you'll notice that peeking underneath her pants are those pointed toe. I'm not sure if it's boots or heels, but with the pants that I chose for my outfit, I do need some heels. So I wanted to keep to the pointed toe. So I ended up going for these um, black heels, but they do give me the height that I need or the length to make those jeans wearable. So I think I did get a very similar look to what she has. I just love how she made the cape coat so wearable. fourth outfit. I thought it was such a fun twist to a casual cool girl look. I'll have this blog post linked down below where I got this outfit from. It was her winter brunch outfits and I felt like she had so many good ideas. It's kind of like that elevated casual look again which I very trendy right now. So you'll notice with her jeans she's got that flare jean. I really like the wash of the jeans too. That's a nice actually those might not even be jeans. Those might be dress pants. So I'm going to be working with my stone immaculate jeans again because it does have a very like similar cut that she's wearing. High waisted, very fitted on top, and then you've got the loose leg at the bottom. Layered underneath her blazer, she does have that Ralph Lauren t-shirt. I don't have anything like that, so I just decided to use a sweatshirt. I also have been seeing a lot of these like hoodies and sweatshirts layered with blazers and oversized coats. So I wanted to give the look a try. So this one also has the floral print in there and I'm always looking for ways to include the floral print in the winter. We'll see how it goes. And then of course on top of that she does have the pink blazer which I love that. I actually don't have a pink blazer right now so I decided to go for this pink coat. I really do feel like this coat dresses up a lot of my outfits so I feel like this was a good option for me so I paired this with my hoodie and I was pleasantly surprised. So I really feel like she made this outfit with the shoes. Those hot pink boots are everything. So I kind of wanted to have that epic closure to this outfit too. Mine not as wearable as hers but I still I had to get that pink at the bottom of the outfit because I feel like it just it really does make it. These are ridiculous I know. Now would I wear these around in the winter? Probably not. I can always switch them out for tennis shoes or something. For my last outfit that I wanted to recreate for this video, I wanted to share some ideas on ways to wear a dress in the winter because I'm always looking for ways to bring in my really pretty light summery dresses and how to layer them upright that so it looks right in the winter. And I felt like this fashion blogger had some really good ideas. So I am going to leave her blog post on styling a tiered dress down below in my description box. Her name is um, Kiko Lin. She just had some really creative outfits and I got a lot of ideas from her, so I'm hoping that you will too. So I'm gonna start the look off with that beautiful mini dress style that she's wearing. I am gonna incorporate colors in a similar way that she did, but I'm not gonna go for the same colors. I am going for those ruffles because I really do feel like that brings a lot to the outfit. Just think of different color combinations than she does because obviously you're working with what you have in your closet. The ruffled piece that I felt like would give me a very similar look to what she has in this outfit 
is this dress and it's very light fabric so I really had to get creative on how I wanted to layer this up for winter but she really gave me some good ideas so look at the ruffles at the bottom of this dress it is a mini style I really feel like this one is going to turn out very well and this dress also does come with a little tie and you'll notice with her dress that she does have like a belt the next pieces that I wanted to point out in her outfit I really like how she went for all black accessories, including shoes and including her belt, her hat, her purse, all those match. So she is wearing black knee high boots and I actually do have black knee high boots that look very similar to what she's wearing. Her heel is a little bit higher, but mine is like that thicker heel. So it's very easy to walk around in and these actually hit above a knee perfect for that mini dress too. So the other accessory that I did include into my outfit that is shown in her outfit is that black hat. And mine is actually a slouchy beret. This one is very oversized, but it kind of gives you like that very artistic look, which I really like. So this one is from Free People and it's just like a one size, but they are quite big. So I don't really, I feel like it's, it's a little bit too big on me, but I don't mind. I really love her color selections for this outfit. She just did a really good job with picking out the colors. But the only faux fur coat that I have that is oversized like hers in the length is this coat. And I do feel like the oversized and length of the coat was important because it just brings in that oversized look to the outfit. And of course, I'm gonna go for pink. <laughs> got some ideas from these outfits that I've recreated. I've found some new fashion bloggers that I've been getting lots of ideas from and I hope you do too. Just some things that I've been needing a little bit of inspiration from and I think that last outfit I really want to try and create something similar to it again. I think I'm going to look for a tiered mini dress like that again but something that's a little bit more of a wintry piece. Anyway, let me know how much you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.